All right. We like when we have authors up here, and you just fit in just great when you pulled up on the Harley. You got to meet Zorro, and I'm thinking, I gee, did. a cat lover wants to wanted to make sure he saw Zorro. Oh boy. Well, first off, you, you you've done done it now. <laughs> Oh, because you, you mentioned the Harley. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm under orders. You are? I am. I'm under orders from Sink orders? House. And what orders might those be? You know what Sink House is, right? I do not. Tell me. Sink House is a, uh, it's a very high-level position. Okay. It is very well known, very well understood, very feared, even at the highest levels of the oh, U.S. military. Oh, I should be scared. I'm sorry. It means Commander-in-Chief of the House, oh. or in layman's terms, the wife. Give me the layman yeah. terms. We understand wife around here. I have to respond <laughs> this way to any reference to the Harleys. I have to say two things. Number one, it is true. She bought her bike first before I bought mine. So you were allowed to get yours. I was allowed to get mine. Right? <laughs> After you got and yours. And the second one, well, do I really have to say it out loud? You do. It's kind of embarrassing. Well, it's an embarrassing show, so don't go worry. Uh, Go ahead. Okay. Her engine's bigger than mine. Oh, I bet you hate that. Yeah. So there, that's out of the way. Now this is going to go downhill from here because you know what? You have written this great. Book. We have. She has written this great big book, Mighty Little Man, and you write a book about cats. You have to get teased about that. Oh, all the time, especially <laughs> exactly. at the Harley place. Especially at the Harley place. So your wife's got a bigger oh. Harley than you. You write a book about a cat. Mm-hmm. So you're not shy, I see. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> Let's talk about this book. When they sent it to us, they said, you know, he'd be a great guest. This book made us laugh. It made us cry. It's interesting. A little background on you. You're military. I am. You Retired Air Force. obviously drive a Harley, so you're a manly man, except for your wife. She's got the bigger engine. <laughs> and you're a cat lover. What made this cat so special? Tell me about the book. Well, you know, I have been around animals my whole life. Okay. I, uh, when I was growing up um, in Clay, Alabama, mm -hmm. if you've ever, if you've ever heard yes. that, I've been there. Uh, we had horses and cows and, and goats and chickens, and I even had a squirrel that used to sit on my shoulder and oh, eat my. treats. Not afraid Name, of rabies. Named him Hickernut. <laughs> okay. No, nope, not afraid of, even though my mama got bit, by the way. Oh. Yeah, but, uh, and of course, we've had our share of cats and dogs the whole time. But uh, with Little Man, and I didn't get him until I was in my 40s, okay. it's, it's always been a little now bit different. Now you're in the service, you get a cat. Right, I'm in the service, I get a cat. Um, he is a man's cat. Okay. Uh, he loves Explain the garage. A man's cat to me. He loves the garage. All right. That's his favorite place in the whole world. And he actually helped me restore the first car I ever owned that I still have. All right. And that's the only car that he will get into willingly of his own free will. Is right, that car. It. And before I go any further, because he's probably watching, Jonathan Giles with the Cracker Jacks in Huntsville is a manly man as well and has cats and a Harley. So, gee, so there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we and go. Kiss fan. <laughs> All right, so we're good. But, so, what uh, makes this cat so special to you? Before he was even a year old, uh, he was declared mascot okay. of Detachment 1, 608, their operations group at Offutt Air Force Base. So, Nebraska. not just you like this cat, many. Many like this cat, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then. Uh, Spoil doesn't even begin to, I can imagine. to explain him. I have literally had to call home when I'm on a business trip, not to talk to Caroline, my wife, but to talk to little man because he's driving her crazy going around the house <laughs> looking for me. And I've literally had to call and talk to him on the phone to calm him down so he, so would, well so he would make it until I could get home. So what would make a grown man that's out of the military now write a book so thick about a cat that would make it interesting to people wanting to read it? Well, two years ago, uh, something happened, okay. and it was, it was really bad. Um, I didn't know what to do. Uh, it was on a holiday. I didn't even, I, even though I'd been living here for five years, I didn't even know if there was an emergency vet clinic in town. I just happened to have the phone number of my personal veterinarian, called her. She happened to be in the local area. Uh, she came running, and without her, I don't know what I would have done. What but, was uh, Well, there's a couple of theories that we suspect. Uh, one carried with it a very ominous warning, and that is usually fatal in cats. Okay. Now, I'm not talking about a disease. So all cat lovers need to read this book? I think so, yes, yes. Um, the other one, if it was true, the other theory, if it's true, uh, could have been even worse, because if it was true, it involved a criminal. My God, what was it? <laughs> you got to buy the it book. It involved a criminal <laughs> element. A criminal element. If it's true. So a neighbor poisoned your cat? Well, we think so. Oh, that's so sad. Now, we don't think he did it intentionally. 
Okay, you think okay. it was accident? I think if, if, it, if that's the case, but I'm pretty sure it was accident. But it's that could happen. So yeah. when people, what do you tell people, I've written a book about my cat, so I want you to read it. Who do well, you tell them they're going to get out of this book? He recovered. Thank you. Against all <laughs> You've been odds. You're crying by now. Against all odds. I mean, I was, I was desperate. Uh -huh. You know, this went on for days, weeks. I was, you know, God save little man desperate. And uh, <laughs> there's even a he, website. There is a website. A website. www. When he pulled through, it was inspirational. You know, and so that's when I decided to uh, to to finish the book. I'd actually started it before all this happened. So you're going to keep people at the edge of their seat, wanting to hurry up and find out what happened to this cat. Now I notice there's some other pictures in here other than just one cat. There's lots of pictures in. There. Oh yeah, we have a house full of cats. We have four of the most spoiled rotten cats on the planet. So everyone should own a cat. Absolutely. Get Absolutely. a lot of love from your family. And you're a, a family fan. Cats. Roll Tide. <laughs> Roll Tide. And his wife's Harley's bigger than him, so you have done very well coming up here to share your story. And he is manly and, you know, I mean, come on, he's got his own superhero cape, <laughs> you know, with his own copyrighted logo. He Check that out. He show up on the Harley with you this morning. He'd, well, he'll ride in the Cuda. Okay. You know, but... You know. Very nice, good-looking blue Cuda in here. What color was it? It's I think purple. It's black and white. It's, it's purple. purple. Yeah, very good. So, interesting book. If you love cats, if you don't love cats, you need to read it. Very suspenseful. My story, his story, our, our story is on there. That's right. All right. Where can they get the book? It's available on Amazon uh, in both paperback and Kindle formats. All right. And there's also some at uh, Catisfaction Cat Clinic where uh, Dr. Gandhi works. Of course. Works. <laughs> you can get something there. Of course. Yep. That, Johnny, thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. We've enjoyed it. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we get back, someone who's written another book, not about a cat, but a little bit smaller, Mr. Birthday Boy, Dee Lauderdale, will be with us next. We'll be right back.